Hey Taurus, welcome. This is your reading. This is a monthly reading for the whole month of March. It's for anyone who's guided. This reading's for Taurus or anyone else who's guided, I should say. Uh, for whatever reason you've been guided here, it could be your reading, it could be for the cross watcher even. All right, this reading, anything could come out right till the very last second. And I can't stress that enough. I, even after I click off, I can click back on. All right, with messages, they can just come out randomly or they could be about the reading or not. All right, let's take a look. Multiple storylines could come out during this reading as well. It happens. All right, we have the Lenormand Urban Oracle right there. Uh, they're our new deck. We got a brand new deck of the wheel of the year because our old ones were so frayed and hard to shuffle so we got those we're just going to use our one of our old favorites gilded royale all right let's do it spirit and angels taurus reading whole month of march this could resonate now or it could be a heads up to something coming later heart sun and cross wow somebody else had the heart the whip and something of uh, the star so if you look at this it's very similar the heart the cross and the sun and they had the heart the whip and the star i wish i could remember what sign it was i want to say i've only done cancer in libra so i'm gonna say i think it could have been libra i do not remember it being um cancer i think it was libra okay let's do it the heart the cross and the sun all right this could so the heart says you know you care about this this involves something that's heartfelt the cross has multiple meanings like the whip and the broom that was here before for libra it can be something heavy so can the cross we carry you know jesus carried a, a heavy cross right so when they say you know i i bear the burden of the i carry the cross on my back that it really is about carrying something heavy uh, so this could be something heavy in the heart, but the sun's here, which is beautiful. So this could be something clearing up, something that was once painful, becoming uh, more. Um, and it could be, it doesn't have to be love. Like when I see the heart, it could, the heart's a balloon. It could be any kind of love in this particular deck. And the sun could also have to do with your kids. And if you look closely, there's actually like a father and child on the card. doesn't have to be father. It could be anybody. Uh, but there's something here about, so this really, I'm just using that as an example. Keep that in mind. So, um, you know, this really could be anything, um, some kind of love situation could have either been something heavy or something that's divinely guided. So remember what I said, the cross has dual meanings. Um, but it, this energy really felt like some raw reading I have already done. But let's see what comes out and see. Because I don't even remember anything about what Libra's reading was about because it was days ago. So I am going to see what comes out for you guys. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus? What do we need to know? Taurus reading. What are the messages? Taurus reading for anyone who's guided. This could resonate now or later on down the line. All right, that's better. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Yeah, two of cups is reversed. That could be any kind of a partnership. We also got the two of pentacles here. We've got the seven of wands. We got the page of pentacles. What else? So two of cups for me is any kind of partnership or two people that are on the same, you know, and there's the lovers. Somebody had this identical reading, but these two cards came out in a particular reading. If it check the Libra reading. So I'm saying to you guys, it is, um, this is very familiar. This reading, the lovers, I, I swear, I think this was here. Could have been this one either way. Both of these cards came out in some reading this week. And then we had the same energy that pulled me towards, I think, the Libra reading. So I would check the Libra weekly, re I mean, monthly reading, because there could be other messages for you. All right, what else do we need to know for Taurus? Mm-hmm, look at that. There it is. 
check this out, Taurus. There you are, Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords reversed. So at one time, those Ten Swords, you know, were a problem for you. Uh, and this has been an issue for you. Something, it, I think for some of you, this is a love relationship. For some of you, it could be some other kind of partnership. Um, and look at, there's two, well, the lovers, you know, always reminds me of a two card because there's two people in it. But, you know, those two and then this one the two card of the two of pentacles and see how this person has the rainbow here. Something's about to clear up, I feel. Um, or there's a choice that you'll make that clears something up. But the ship's back here. Now, this could be, you know, these are in the reverse. So this really could be um, something brand new coming in. And I feel like that was the same message I gave to whatever that other reading was I was talking about that I think was a Libra reading. That it wasn't so much about, and it, I think it came out midway through that it felt more to me like they were releasing something that was painful you've already had these ten swords in your back you've already been through some kind of severing of ties for some of you this wasn't a romantic relationship and it was more platonic or you know it could be family could be anything and for others of you it was a romantic uh relationship and for some of you it could have been multiple people i really see her smack dab in the middle of this beautiful energy this two of pentacles i always really love it because it's your choice to have the rainbow and the rainbow is what you want. The ship's coming in. What is the ship? It's whatever you want. It's your sunshine. It's your star, like I said. In another reading, the star was here. Uh, I do feel like there's something here that's your choice, whether you want it or not. Take the leap of faith, whatever it is. We also have the king of pentacles here reversed. For some of you, this was a love partner. You know, um, so there could have been an issue between you and this person. Um, you know, the Empress reversed behind that. The Six of Swords, you could have been married to this person. They could have been married. You also have the Page of Pentacles here. I don't know if I mentioned that in the Seven of Wands. So this really makes me feel like you could really... Um, you could really be defending yourself where you were done dirty. You could also be fighting for this new energy, this brand new, like, hey, I want my ship to come in. I want this brand new energy. I'm going to have to put my work and my effort into this. I survived it because it's Ten of Swords reversed. So you already lived through this. Um, the point now is to get into this really young, playful energy and newness and take the leap of faith into the new sunshine, like into, and you know, the sun for me is always a new cycle and look at how it, like, it looks almost like a, like a big open portal, you know, like I, if you take the leap of faith in through that big open portal, you're going to experience new energy, new opportunities. Let's get the wheel of the year out here. And let's get a little peek at what else we should know about this. Your weekly is also just came out. So you have big readings everywhere. And your weekly is go all the way into the after tarot and bring in two weeks for you. So if you want to check them out, I will be attaching a lot of stuff to the end of this video on the end screen, the very, very end. A bunch of stuff will pop out. You're, you have a bonus reading. Do you guys, yeah, you guys, no, you guys didn't qualify for a bonus reading, but you could this week slap that like. Whatever videos are being, and they don't even have to be Zodiac. Whatever's being liked the most is what I'll do more of, okay? And that's my vow this year is doing more of what people like. So if it's a Zodiac sign, then that's what it is. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? Taurus reading. What do we need to know? Taurus reading. Taurus reading. All right. All right. Let's do the central right there. The two of pentacles. This, you know, this works with this. Am I going to take this leap of faith? Am I going to go into this new portal? Am I going to fight for something? Go into this new energy? Accept an offer, an opportunity. It's coming through as a page of pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles here. What do we need to know about it? central issue yeah all right so we've got the hermit and the eight of cups so the hermit's trying to figure out which way to go in a situation the eight of cups walks away from whatever was emotional and leaves it behind but this eight of cups hasn't gone anywhere um because they're still they're in contemplation and they've been trying to see it see clearly where it is what i'm going to do when i take the leap of faith which way am i going to go um, and so this has been hermit is reversed i feel as though you are going to figure this out you're because the hermit in the upright really for me is the one trying to search 
But when he's in the reverse, I kind of feel like he's like the hangman for me reversed as well. When they're reversed for me, they're enlightened. They know what they're doing, where they're going, and they've now gotten off that podium or that tree or whatever it is they're hanging in, and they're ready. That's kind of how I see the um, hermit. I see the hermit more already enlightened when they're in reverse. So for me, whatever it is you're contemplating that's kept you really, you haven't been able to really move in any direction. And it's not be, not that you haven't been able to, you really have just been thinking about it. Like, should I do this? Because it's going to constitute taking a leap. Let's find out what it's about. Tell me about this page of pentacles. What is the page of pentacles? This is like some new opportunity. Yeah, well, it'll take you out of the five of pentacles. So whatever this is, it's a decision you make that takes you out of the five of pentacles and allows you to go into like a new energy. And you know, there is some energy down here of the lovers reversed and a decision. So it's the same exact repeat energy. The the lovers reversed and the decision they're the same right there and it is a decision like you thinking about it shining the light on it trying to figure out whether this is your best move uh your best bet whatever it is it takes you out of um some kind of um feeling a certain way tell me the lovers reversed here what about the lovers reversed i'm going to look at them together Lovers reversed, two of cups reversed. What do we need to know? Lovers reversed, two of cups reversed. Look at that. It bent to the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is right there. And you know, it's funny because at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands, but you also have the Devil reversed. Again, you know, the, the Devil reversed is a lot like the the lovers when it's reversed this came out reversed and right behind that is um judgment this is a decision to release yourself from something that wasn't in your highest good i really do feel like you can either maybe it's very very possible someone's coming in with an offer um, and you have to decide which way you're going to go, or this is the cho choice between vice and virtue. For some of you, this could be, I'm going to use this as an example for a handful of you. And I know this is not going to be everyone. There's some of you that are tempted by someone that's not good for you. Even if this is somebody from your past or somebody you are with now. Um, and this is what you're, um, you're, it's almost feels like a, it could be a spiritual test. Um, and that's what it kind of feels like, like you've got a choice between, you know, the devil and spirits trying to enlighten you about it. They're trying to get you to release something that's not in your highest good. Um, and this could be between two people. There could be one that's good for you, one that's not. Um, this is just for some of you. I'm getting this storyline coming through for some of you. I'm going to take a look at, um, let me look at the Knight of Cups, the one I just pulled. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Empress. Now remember, Empress is right there. You know, so there very well could be a third person involved in all this. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords reverse, Taurus reading. Ten of Wands reverse. So not only are we Ten of Swords reverse, we're also Ten of Wands reverse. You're letting go of something. You are letting go of something. You're releasing something and you're allowing something new to come in. You may finally start dating again. So what about the Seven of Wands, please? Just one or two, seven of wands, okay, something. Ten of pentacles reversed and the ten, uh, the four of pentacles. These say the same exact thing. You know, there's something here. There's some kind of money block. Something that you've been fighting for, something you're going to fight for, something you want to fight for. This could ha have to do with someone you love or care about. There could, there could be... Um, let me take a look at this 
because there could be some kind of an apology coming in. Can I take a look at the um, Knight of Cups? Just the Knight of Cups. No, let's look at the Knight of Cups and the Empress. I want to know about the Knight of Cups and the Empress. There it is. I see it. Yeah. The, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, these are there's two different kinds of offers coming in for you guys. Um, and you know, it's really going to be positive. The Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, it's something you've waited for. I think you've been waiting for something and it's coming. Now, for some of you, it's romantic. And for some of you, it's definitely financial. No doubt about it. This is something that you fought for, something that you were, somebody owes you an apology. Um, something that's been heavy and hard and look that this is why she's so depleted the queen of pentacles is reversed because she's depleted she's but she's at the very end of it so keep this in mind whatever you have been going through it's done there's just no way this is continuing this is completely done i do not see an ace but i do see this and that's the most important thing i see in your entire reading is the end of the reading that wheel of fortune and that six of wands that says this is happening uh there's some kind of and it could be because of something you initiate or you already initiated and it's going to trigger whatever was happening there was definitely some kind of um money that was owed to you that was being blocked or withheld or something i see it here i see it here and i see it coming in twice like this comes in and for some of you it comes in with an apology that's what i see i'd love to know what this is you guys uh this was a little hard to get to because i distinctly feel there's two different things coming through here please don't forget to like this video i'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards i almost forgot oh my goodness angels what do we need to know and they're so darn cute oh there was way too many i'm gonna put the big pile back and i'm gonna keep those two that came out separate and i'm gonna take one more okay humor all right so you know like the fool too kind of more lighthearted. uh there's some better energy coming in for you yeah expansiveness and openness i feel like you're finally going to get out of what was remember there was like something that was holding you back and keeping you stuck you had to wait you might have wait had to wait for someone else to look into something and make a decision if you were owed money there might have been somebody who had to look into it let me know that's not the first time i got that message this month already okay guys have a good one bye